Hi everyone, today we're making a corner storage hammock that resembles a cobweb. It can be used just as decoration and it can cast a really cool shadow or you can store stuff like your stuffed animals or your yarn on top. I'll be using 24-7 cotton yarn in the color white which is a number 4 or medium weight cotton yarn and you want to use cotton yarn to prevent too much stretching and I'm also using a 4mm crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle but you can use a hook instead. We're starting with a slip knot, and to make a slip knot, place the yarn over the palm of your hand with the tail end at the bottom. Hold the yarn down with your thumb, then wrap the top around two fingers to form an X, and then I like to hold it with my pinky. Insert your hook under one side of the X, then over, and grab the other side and pull it through. Remove your fingers and tighten the knot. Now we're going to be making the loop to hang onto our wall hook. And we're going to chain however long we want it to be. To chain, yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. And you want to make this first chain a little bit loose. Again, yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. And I'm going to chain 10 total. So here are my 10 chains. And we're going to slip stitch to the first chain we made to form a loop. To do a slip stitch, we'll first insert our hook into the first chain so we'll go into the v of the first chain and i'll go under the top loop and the middle loop then we'll yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook and you should have a little loop like this to start every row we're going to chain four and these first four chains will act as our first treble crochet to do our second treble crochet, yarn over two times, insert your hook into that same space we slip stitched to, then yarn over, pull through, and now you should have four loops on your hook, then yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Again, yarn over twice, Insert your hook into that same space, yarn over, pull through, and you should have four loops on your hook. And again, we'll yarn over and pull through two loops three times until there's only one loop left. So here are our first three treble crochets, and remember that the chain four counts as our first one. And we're going to do four more for a total of seven treble crochets. Here is my first row done. And it should fan out to be about a right triangle here. If you have a thicker yarn, you might want to do 6 trebles instead of 7 to get the same angle. And if you have a thinner yarn, you might want to do 8 instead of 7. Every row will have 7 treble crochets, but will have one more chain in between the trebles than the row before. For row 2, we're doing one chain in between each treble, since last row had 0 chains in between. So we'll start with our four chains again in place of our first treble crochet. Then we'll do one extra chain because there's one chain in between each treble. Now we'll turn and work this way. And since these five chains act as our first treble crochet and a chain one, we can skip this first stitch and we'll do a treble crochet into the next stitch. And we'll put a treble crochet in here and make sure we're going under the V of the stitch. Then we'll chain one and do a treble crochet into the next stitch going under that V. And we'll repeat that. Chain one and treble. For our last treble, we'll chain one and we'll put a treble crochet into the top of the four chains from last row. So we'll count from the bottom, and in the fourth, we'll put our treble crochet. Then for row three, we'll start again with four chains as our first treble. Then we're going to add one more chain than last row in between the trebles. So we'll chain two more instead of one. And we'll turn. So again, these six chains are acting as a treble and a chain two. 
Then we'll do a treble crochet into the top of the next stitch. And our trebles will always line up with the last row's trebles. Then we'll chain two and do another treble crochet and we'll repeat that until the end. At the end we'll chain two and we'll put a treble crochet into the fourth chain from the bottom. For row four we'll chain four, then three more. And this row will have three chains in between each treble crochet. And we're just going to continue this pattern for our next rows. Row five will start with four chains, then four extra and have four chains in between each treble. Row six will start with four chains, then five extra and have five chains in between each treble. And you can continue this for as long as you want to make the web as big as you want. For the rows with a lot of chains in between the trebles, it gets a little hard to do the trebles. So what I like to do is I do my chains, then I yarn over twice and keep it from loosening with my right index finger. Then I look for the stitch, or in this case the chain that I'll put my treble into, and I'll insert my hook while keeping tension, and I'll complete my treble crochet. So here I have 26 total rows and it's a not perfect right triangle, but it's still okay. And it measures about 21 inches on the sides. And before I cut my yarn, I want to make sure that it's a good size and it will look good hung up. And I don't have wall hooks right now, so I'm just using push pins, which work fine as decoration, but could fall out easily if I use it for storage. And those dots on the wall are or just glow in the dark stars. So anyways, from the corner of the wall, I'll put my push pins slightly less than the length of my triangle. So I did 20 inches. Then I have my middle push pin in the corner of the wall and not directly in line with the sides, but a few inches higher so you can see the design. I have mine about five inches higher and you can play around with the placement to make it more natural looking or functional if you want. If you're happy with the size of your cobweb, you can fasten off. To fasten off, chain one and cut your yarn a few inches, then pull on your hook and tighten the knot. And now we can sew in this loose end to hide it. So I'll thread the yarn into my needle and I'll just go down this treble crochet by looping the loose end through the loops on it like this. And we can also go into this chain to switch up the direction to make it more secure. And we can also go back the other way to make it even more secure. And you can snip off the excess yarn or you can use your hook to completely hide it. Now we are completely finished with this project and we can put it on our wall as decoration or we can store stuff on it. Just make sure that you use something sturdier than push pins if you do. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.